Hello, hello, my very dear Medigrid Pro friends around the world. I hope you're doing good. Hope your grids are expanding. My grids are, as always, I'm good, though it's the last day of August, and that means that summer is about to end. But what's not gonna end for sure is our Medigrid Pro adventure. And today, guys, I'd like to show you how to work with Medigrid Pro and multiple applications at once. Yes, it's totally possible, it's fun, and it's very, very useful. Let's take a look. The first thing you should know when talking about using multiple apps with Metagrid Pro is that it detects so-called application in focus. You could already see this in my tutorials for a couple of times, but I'll show you again. I'm switching to my new window. And as you can see, I have got already my new window timeline here. For example, when I want to make an Rx operation, and I'm gonna send it to Rx, I'm gonna get my Rx. If I want to launch, for whatever reason, DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna get my DaVinci panel like this. Yeah, Metagrid Pro simply takes some info from your system, what's the application you're currently using, and it's simply adjusting, synchronizing itself to this app. And I've created profiles and grids for Nuendo, Resolve, Rx, my web browser, my email client, and some other applications. And if I ever think about creating a new set of grids for any new application, that's actually quite easy. I'm going to simply open even a notepad now. That's my app in focus right now. This is my last app that I have used that had a profile, which is my web browser, my Chrome. But now I go to edit, content manager, and then I create a new profile and create new profile notepad currently in use, my friends. Yes, that's it. And I'm gonna make an example of a macro, the simplest one, I'm gonna make it control, open, done. Oh, name of the macro. So when I press now, control O, yes, he's gonna open a new document for me. So, Really, very easy, no effort at all. This is so intuitive that you don't even have to think too much about it. It just happens. On the way, you're working with new apps. You create new profiles, new scenes, new grids. I've presented to you the whole structure of profile scenes and layouts in one of the previous episodes, guys. But now, what's interesting, guys, hmm, that you can have one grid and you can operate from that grid even if it's notepad that's your in focus, you can still operate from a second, third, fourth application having your notepad profile opened. Yes, and I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna get back to this, and at the very bottom there's something called target application for macro. When it's desktop, it's simply application in focus. Metagrid does nothing too special, it's simply applies the macro to what is in focus, but I can manually choose from all the applications that are installed on my system because Metagrid Pro detects them for me. So yeah, let's even make this one notepad. Okay, but next one, I would like to, let's say I would like to create the same macro, but for my free text editor. Text open, but I don't want to make it work on Notepad, but on my text maker. It's going to be control O for both apps, but one should work on Notepad and the second one should work on text. We'll see. Yeah, that's my text editor and that's my Notepad. And I'm here with my Notepad. I press Notepad open, yes. But now, still, being with 
notepad in focus, I should be able to perform a desired operation in TextMaker. Yes, it works. Actually, I knew it works, but I wanted to show you like very life on some really living example, guys. And you know what? I'm not using it for now, but I can imagine what that means for any graphic designers, motion designers, any visual arts people working with Affinity, Adobe, or whatever else like visual. This is extremely powerful because, yeah, you can switch your components, you can edit your transfer your components between different pieces of software, and you don't even have to click through the applications to make some things just happen for you. And this is really pretty amazing and pretty powerful. Moreover, guys, because this is definitely not all, because there's something called Omnispace. Omnispace is a special grid that's just a general cross-application and cross-system grid that's not going to switch from application in focus. It's going to be just one static grid, no matter what your application in focus is. And same story. You can blend all kinds of operations and apps targeted on your Omnispace. To enter Omnispace, you press it here. This is Omnispace. You press done. It's empty, as you can see, but now when I click any of my apps, actually nothing happens. This is still just Omnispace, which means it's just system wide. And guys, same story. I can perform my operations in Notepad here. I can perform my operations here in my text maker. And together with that, I can even make control all for the third time and make my new window open something for me. Let's test it out again. There we go. Paste. I'm going to make it Nuendo. Now, yes, works. Of course it works. And then, yes, it of course works. And as I told you guys, I'm not really using it right now because all my audio happens in Nuendo. I don't have to switch between apps while working on audio. But I suppose whether you're a sound designer, music composer, producer, graphic designer, programmer, an architect, whatever you do, a writer, uh, this can become a really serious and powerful tool in your hands. And whenever I really start using it and I create my real omnispace grid for whatever reason, it might happen one day, I suppose, because I'm always looking for new ways of working and improving things. I'm going to keep you updated and I'm going to surely show you my multi-app grid. Until that time, I'm going to stick to what I already have and what is already amazing and does an amazing job for me. Hope it's the same with you and your MetaGrid Pro grids. Take care. See you soon.